You don't need no filters You my rocket, you my perfect picture Baby, you know I'm tryna kick it with ya Ain't gotta wait till it gets dark We get 106 in park, you be my rock I be your big tigger I'm tryna show you off I'm tryna flaunt ya I'm obsessed with ya, baby, I want you. Let them watch ya, tell them they can tune in Show you how we do this I put all love on the billboard So you just need to look out your window Show the whole city I'm all yours Let me put us on display I shot it from the rooftops And welcome to another vlog or so with Locked In with the Ligans. I'm Mariah and welcome to the Ligans Family YouTube channel. All right. Thank you so much for coming back, Ligans Tribe. If you are a returning subscriber and if you are new to our channel, please hit that red button below and subscribe to our channel. So today is an exciting day. It is day two of our Juneteenth celebration. For day one, you saw that I posted a video talking about 10 things that you can do to celebrate Juneteenth. If you have not seen that video, I will link it below this video or link it in the cards for you as well um, and if you think about ways to celebrate Juneteenth and don't know that video is awesome because I list 10 helpful tips on how to celebrate Juneteenth again I'm not an expert I you know I'm not a history expert either but I think it is really important and it's awesome to get out and celebrate Juneteenth and I wanted to show you all how we're celebrating this year last year we celebrated Juneteenth as well I have a video for that I will link it below this video too if you want to check that out last year we celebrated with family and friends this year we're celebrating at home and we also have some really cool activities we're going to do in the community and at our house so today we are getting ready we got on our juneteenth apparel look at my shirt y'all hey it is awesome i love this shirt y'all take a look at it it's beautiful it says i'm black every day but today i am black 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 look at it and it says Juneteenth at the top it matches my necklace and my earrings y'all I love this shirt it is so awesome and I actually got it from the white twins official custom apparel and items you can find them on Facebook at the white twins official and Instagram the white twins and then you can email the white twins official at gmail.com here's their business card right here there and I'm going to leave their contact information below this video. And I'm also going to post pictures and close-up pictures on our Instagram at Locked In With The Ligands. So follow us on Instagram at Locked In With The Ligands. I'm going to post their information on our YouTube channel and also in the description here. And I'm going to post it on Instagram. They are at this business. Absolutely amazing. I'm so excited. We Our plans changed last minute. Um, so we had ordered some t-shirts in Tennessee. And we didn't get a chance to go to Tennessee because I'm Unfortunately, our plans changed last minute for Juneteenth and we're here in Georgia. And so I really wanted some t-shirts still. So a friend of mine, Latasha, which she is awesome, great resource. She contacted me and said, hey, you got to check out this business. They're fast, efficient. They will get you your t-shirts. Just go ahead and contact them right now, though. So I decided to go ahead and reach out. I reached out. They immediately printed us up some t-shirts. I chose my design and they had it done less than 24 hours. Like it was a quick turnaround. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend doing anything last minute because you know you want to give people enough time to be able to work with you but the fact that this business was able to get us some awesome t-shirts quickly and they look beautiful we look great y'all look at this shirt oh i love it so much y'all it's a design i love i am hyping up this business thank you so so much to the white twins official for getting this t-shirt to us me and my family we all have the same shirt casey got a little um onesie outfit because she is too small to get a t-shirt but i will tell you all i absolutely love this business i'll link their website below this video check them out if you're in atlanta georgia or if you're not in atlanta georgia they probably can ship you your shirts uh you know to wherever you are so thank you so much i had to put that plug in you all are awesome all right so i actually we're gonna head out because we are going to a parade today and also a juneteenth festival that's happening right here in our community then we're gonna come back and cook out and later on tonight we're gonna watch uh 
a Blackish episode for Juneteenth and maybe a, even a Blackish documentary. I also have kid activities prepared as well that we're going to be doing. So we're going to be busy all day hyping up and celebrating Juneteenth. I'm going to take you all along the journey with, with us, but I got to get off the vlog because I need to get Kaisley on her clothes and we got to get out of here if we want to be on time for the start of the parade. All right, I'll check in with you all real soon in the car probably. So I wanted to show y'all right quick. Casey's little outfit is so cute. Look at it. I ordered this off Etsy.com. I'll link it below this video. But here is her little outfit and it matches the colors of Juneteenth. It has the red, the green, the yellow in it. And I think it's just so adorable. She's going to match right in just fine with us and our shirts that we are wearing. So check it out. She's going to look so cute. I'm going to post it pictures on Instagram at Locked In With The Ligands so you all can look at her cute outfits. It's so cute. All right, I'll take one, Chelsea. Okay, y'all, so we made it downtown. Well, kind of downtown. We're in East Point, Georgia. It actually is raining a little bit. So it's not bad rain, it's just raining a little bit. And so we are here at the festival and we're gonna go see the parade. So we're gonna head over there and uh, go look at the festivities. It sounds nice, they got tents set up, a lot of visuals everywhere. It's a lot of people it. here. So Kyler's excited. Um, when we get home, we'll show y'all our shirts and we're gonna take pictures so y'all can see everything because y'all can't see it right now because it's raining. So we're gonna head over there so we don't miss nothing. See y'all in a minute. <laughs> holiday Juneteenth and some of us recognize it as the day of deliverance <laughs> finally people in Texas got the news because you know they didn't want to give up their valet the, the maid the cook that was all free but now this is a new day we recognize where we came from my name is Richard Rose I'm president of the Atlanta NACP I want to welcome you all thank you all for coming the day is just getting stopped, the rain didn't stop nothing here. Because we all used to live with adversity. So we know how to get over. I want to introduce our co-partner for this event, Mayor Dina Holiday Ingram of the city of East Point, where there is no point like East Point. 1976. That year had nothing to do with me. Now, some people celebrate, but my ancestors didn't come over here on a business trip or on vacation, waving from the deck of the ship, drinking champagne or sipping tea. 
There were no welcome committees or homeowners associations to help us get acclimated to the neighborhood. No one dropping off a pie, offering a cup of sugar, no one saying if you need to borrow some money, just ask. It's all good. There were no classes to help translate the language. There were no directional signs written in our native tongue. Just a shotgun if we tried to run in those trees. Those trees, they served as a horrible reminder from which we were hung. 1776? For some of us, that's not where it all began. To be stripped of everything and to be told for taxation and portionment only, you only three-fifths of a man? Denied the opportunity to learn, beaten if caught trying to write or read. What did Dred Scott say? No rights in which a white man was bound to respect. That was their creed. 1776, for some of us, it's not long before us. Long before having to guess how many jelly beans in a bar, jar, bubbles in a bar, so not being able to sit on the front of a bus. It started long before not being able to register and vote. It started in 1619. Simply put, stolen and put on a boat. We were stacked like corns on that ship, given minimum to eat, no clothing. Can you imagine that horrific ride over? I'm sure our ancestors who survived got very little, if any, sleep. We were taken from our native land. Our families were destroyed. Babies separated from their parents in 1619. Wait, was it 2019? 400 years later, don't you ignore. Don't ignore babies being put in cages, families being destroyed while today's master don't want to pay for health care or livable wage. Okay, I digress. 1619, our ancestors were strong and they were brave. Some so brave they jumped from the ship knowing they couldn't swim, but they knew death was better than being a slave. And in spite of it all, our ancestors continued to thrive. In spite of being created by laws like the Emancipation Proclamation, 13, 14, 15th Amendment of the Good time. She's in the back seat. 
Yeah, there she is. And Kays is in her seat too. And I know she probably tired and ready to get out of her little seat. So we'll check in with you all later. And me and Travis will tell you all what we enjoyed about the festival a little bit later on. Alright y'all, so we have our spread of food here for Juneteenth. Travis made grilled salmon. Oh my goodness, he makes the best grilled salmon. So if you know us personally, definitely ask for a recipe because he has hooked it up. Then I made some fresh uh, baked beans. There they are. Homemade macaroni and cheese. We actually have two pans of it. And then we have baked chicken and it's also up under there some steaks in there as well and some small beef ribs and we have some hot dogs well i guess they're sausages so we are finna eat good it's a lot for a family of four but just know y'all we finna eat for a couple days on this it is good and travis making some fresh sweet potato pies follow us on instagram so you can see the pictures of the food and if you need any recipes on what we made today definitely comment below and let us know what are y'all eating for juneteenth what's your juneteenth go-to meal we want to know all right y'all we finna eat and i'm gonna get off the vlog all right you all so that concludes our juneteenth vlog we have ate we watched a really nice blackish episode talking about juneteenth kyla watched several kid shows about juneteenth today and did coloring sheets so now we're going to end the night reading a book about juneteenth and it is juneteenth for Maisie, and it's by floyd cooper i'll link it below this video i talked about it in my previous video about things that you can do with your family to celebrate juneteenth but we are about to call it a night we are tired the girls are tired and so we are going to get some rest but we're going to end the night by reading this story we have literally had a great weekend yesterday we had an awesome day today we had another great day if you haven't seen our video from last year check it out i'll link it below this video definitely continue to spread the word and spread the culture um today was a huge fun day for us but it was also an educational one i made sure that everything we did had some learning tools in it kyla what was your favorite part of the day my favorite part is to see um the movies and what else do you like to do what did you see at the festival i saw lots of some things that we get to um play it's Yes, and Kyla saw some girls dancing today. She saw her first marching band, which was a lot of fun. Um, my highlight, you watched them dance? Yeah, I kind of wanted to dance, but I didn't really want to because I didn't want my stomach to Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, okay, Kyla. Anyway, um, yeah, so we had a lot of fun. My highlight for today was definitely spending time with family and watching all of the... People come together in a lot of educational moments. Uh, Travis is actually doing something right now. But I know his highlight was probably making a lot of tasty foods. And also the festival. I think we can both agree that we loved the festival. But I'm going to go ahead get them in bed so that way they can go to sleep. Thank you all so much for subscribing to our channel if you're returning subscribers. And if you are new, please consider subscribing to our channel and joining the Ligans tribe. We would love to have you all a part of our tribe. Follow us on Instagram at Locks in with the Ligans. I will link all of that below this video. All right, so I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you all so much. We love you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, peace. So, 
it's a feast day, celebrate You know that we can get crazy All night, all day I'm turning up for the one who made me, yeah, yeah. I may hasten your hand